Well, yeah, hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the Meet Your Slack Attack, your first off titillating tactical gaming. We're continuing Just Cause 2, my real walkthrough of this game, and we are on a run to collect 75 weapon parts. This commentary is dubbed. We're going to take on the Bukit Tingi location, which is right. Show me, Slack. Yeah, it's in the mountains. We're, we're working on the Pelo Archipelago district. Now we're going to go into the mountains. And the way you find this location is put a waypoint on the crest, all right, and look for this V here, all right, this snow valley that makes a V, and it's that location right there. That's where we're going. And we're going to have to hijack a jet at our favorite jet hijacking location, Kem Sungai Sejik, if I recall correctly, and fly there. Yeah, this commentary is dubbed because this is going to be a wild run. This is another wild Razorback run. It's absolutely nuts. And there's no way I'd be able to do this to live commentary. The base is really tight, so there's not much searching around for um, collectibles. All right, Everything shows up on the parts radar pretty much as you roll by um, it in, you know, in the base. It's really easy to find the parts. That's not an issue. <laughs> Staying alive is the issue, actually. Okay, so, yeah. Dub's commentary. I recorded this on Sunday, last Sunday. Today is Thursday. So, uh, pardon me if I'm playing catch up with the, uh, the commentary here. I've been playing a hell of a lot of Fallout 4 since then. By the way, I see a lot of comments People saying, hey Slack, you're gonna do walkthrough of Fallout 4. Hey Slack, you're gonna play Fallout 4. Guys, I have, um, I guess you guys aren't, uh, aren't aware of my other channel, my other YouTube channel, my original YouTube channel, Major Slack Videos, okay? Go there uh, and subscribe because I'm doing Fallout 4 videos there right now. They've, they've, I've got two, two videos up already, okay? I've got one hour, like the first hour of gameplay and I've got another how-to video already up and running okay that's major slack videos go to my channel homepage here at major slack attack and you'll see it under my um on the right hand side there a link to major slack videos the original major slack okay go there and subscribe right after this video all right and you'll see follow four videos on that channel that channel has a slightly different agenda that channel is going to be um focusing on how to videos and specifically open world games, okay? Open world combat games. Whereas this channel here, Major Slack Attack, it's all about real walkers and only real walkers. Any kind of game, but just real walkers. That's the difference, all right? And there are some more videos up on Major Slack videos which describe what was going on with Major Slack videos um, in the past couple of years, all right? I won't go into that because I've already discuss that in detail in other videos all right okay so we hijacked ourselves a jet let's make a tight turn up to the mountains once again i just love flying in this game it's so responsive to controls i'd never be able to do that in any gta game what i just did there that maneuver there no way no way those of you who watch my walkthroughs knew how much I abhorred, absolutely hated flying in, the, in those games. GTA San Andreas and uh, GTA 5 was a little better, but not much. Okay, we're going to bail out a mile up. Absolute priority number one is a rocket launcher guy on the radar dish. Okay, he's the most dangerous. So what I'm going to do is dive shoot down to this little plateau, this little snowy plateau right near that radar dish. Then we're going to stealth up, grapple onto his, uh, his platform there and do him in with a shotgun as quickly as possible. Just gonna remove the uh, the waypoint here. Okay. 
after we do in the rocket launcher guy, I'm gonna commandeer his rocket launcher and blow away his sniper. There's the rocket launcher guy. Down he goes. Grab the, ro the rocket launcher, doing the sniper across the way. And I didn't think I was gonna get him, so I sent him to the rocket. And let's go grab the Razorback. First of all, we're gonna do the, doing these two mini gunners here. One there, one there. There's the Razorback. It's an armored car with an auto cannon. Doing that guy up there and the radar dish, and away we go. Next priority is a Raider. Raiders are those armored cars with miniguns mounted on the back. And let's earn some chaos. And destroy stuff on the way. Okay, there's the Raider right there. Doing that guy right away because he'll chew up your tank. Break quick. Yeah, I know it's not. <laughs> I just love sending those guys flying when you whack them with the, the auto cannon. Now, fairly soon, you're going to call in air support. And sometimes they spam you. So doing the SAM site so that if you have to hijack a helicopter when they come, um, the SAM site will shoot you down right away. Okay, so starting to get some collectibles because they're showing up on the parts radar already. There's another one right there. Easy pickings. Just did that to get it out of the way. And that just did the gifts and shiggles. This vehicle part here I want to grab right now because I always forget it. Okay, so they called an air support. There's another vehicle part on the other side there. Right here. Don't let him get away. See, it's a small base. There's a bit of an annex to the south or northwest, I believe, where there is uh, one of those communication stations. We'll do that last. Yeah, helicopters are great. They're great for building chaos. If you just want to go on a chaos farming run, yeah, fly like an eagle. Yeah, helicopters, you can't be helicopters for destroying bases. But um, as far as like 100%ing bases, I much prefer the Razorback. I like to be right down there, watching everybody up close and personal. Okay, so they've done in my tank, they've done in the, the Razorback. Let's start hijacking. Don't take no passengers. And I'm actually out of heat now. State. So most of the most of the base is done in. Now this is what I do. Whenever I'm in a helicopter and an enemy chopper comes along, um, I screwed up here. 
I go into like a, like a stunt jump out of the helicopter right away. I don't try to shoot it down. Stunt jump out of the helicopter, because when you're hanging down like this on your own helicopter, you can spin around 360 a lot faster than you can spin the helicopter around to get a bead on where the enemy helicopter is. That's why I do that. It's a lot easier. You're gonna do it again. I'm not even gonna try to shoot him down. By the time you like get a line of fire on the enemy helicopter so that you can shoot him down, your chopper is taking so much damage that it's hardly worth it. So I always just instant instant hijack, that's what I do. And as you can see the game is spamming choppers at, at me now. Backing up and away. It's the safest thing to do, I figure. Right after hijacking a helicopter. And it looks like it's calmed down to a dull roar here. And my razor back has respawned. So let's do in this raider right away and go grab another razor back. <laughs> yeah, this will respawn. Now let's collect all the goodies. And like I said, everything is in such close quarters that all you have to do is drive around the base with the Razorback, look for your parts radar to um, start flashing and then just get out, go grab the uh, the part, whatever it is, armor part, vehicle part, or um, weapon part, get back on your Razorback and continue the tour. So I didn't bother uh, carefully documenting where all these parts are, like I said, it's not necessary. So you just drive around and everything shows up. Lots of toys at this base, minigun up there, actually there's like three miniguns here. totally forgot to do in that radio mast. I will get it later though. Pretty close to 100%ing this base. Like I said, I forgot the, the radio mast. We have a visual requesting backup. And there is a communications center down this way. guys together. This is my favorite trick. I call this the kiss and blow up. 
grapple two guys together, they clunk heads, three stooges style, and then throw a grenade, and the grenade blows up before they have a chance to recover. It's freaking hilarious, you gotta try it. That was my best work though. I'll show you another one later on on the walk here. Okay, so that's that. Now, at this point, I'm surprised that it's only at 96%. Like I said, I forgot the radio mast, and um, I'm going to go back and figure that out. Just checking out all the structures. Right now, I'm keeping a close eye on my parts radar because I think it's a, a part that I forgot to pick up. Got the radio mask, Slack. Take out the waypoint. Let's go and do it, do in the radio mast and call it a day. Hello, Rico's little diabolical laugh. <laughs> Coming up next, I'm going to do the Reaper's Stronghold Takeover mission. That mission will earn us two weapon parts by completing the mission and um, there's two weapon parts to be found at that location. So that's four weapon parts added on to the 72 weapon parts that we have now and that'll be 76 weapon parts. Oh yeah, that's what's coming up next. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. See you next video.